Central Catholic's opponent in the championship match will be no stranger. The Vikettes will meet defending champion Parkland. The Trojans advancing with a hard-fought win over upset-minded Whitehall. We check out the action. Mike Krause's Lady Trojans, the top seed in the tournament, having won the LVC title with Rob Gardner guiding the Zephyrs, fourth seed with a record of 14 and six. And Whitehall giving the Trojans all they can handle early. Kayla Kohler and Olivia Babiak combining to score a point. Then Kohler again, this time in the middle, will come up with a nice block. Whitehall leading at that point, 19-16. Kohler then, who would have uh, 15 kills offensively, gives Whitehall a 20 to 18 lead with a hit to the back line, but Parkland will get things revved up. Kelly Robertson with three straight kills, part of her team high 11, giving the Trojans their first lead of the game. Maddie McShane then will serve up the game point winner for the Trojans. They win set one, 25 to 20. Set two, much like the first, the Score uh, tied three times until Robertson once again uh, strong from the front line to lead the Trojans in the set. Nicole Bishwadi chipping in from the front line as well uh, with one of her kills. Parkland puts it together in game two, winning by an identical score of 25 to 20. On to game number three then. This one a little bit of a sloppy affair with uh, Parkland taking advantage of some unforced Whitehall turnovers. The Lady Trojans go on to win the district semifinals in three games. Final score of set three, 25-16. We saw a really good Whitehall team. Kayla Kohler really brought it tonight. Their whole team played extremely hard. They, they hit the ball in very good spots. They hit it hard and they hit it high challenging our defense and our defense wasn't able to answer at first. We knew they were coming to play. Um, they've always been a scrappy. They've always went hard and we, we were we expected it but we just weren't ready for it. We started out a little flat but I think once we got our confidence and our energy picked up um, our floor game and our hitting and our setting everything picked up and we were able to finish. They had a big block. I had to work on hitting corners and putting up the sets higher but our passing and our setting was on so it helped me out. Well it starts with our pass and uh, we need Emily Gasoffi, Maddie McShane, and Callie Kreitcher uh, to step up in the pass. That's their job. And Abby Hawk stepped up tonight when we needed her just to make sure we get a pass so we can run our offense and have choices, put the choice in Taylor's hands. And Taylor's very confident whoever she gives the ball is going to be able to finish. They didn't block well tonight. They, blocked, they got their pieces on uh, everything. So we had to make some adjustments, and we fed Nikki Bishwati the right side. And she was really clicking tonight and really helped us out a hole. We're really excited. Um, just at practice, the intensity's up, and just our chemistry is getting closer, and you can just tell we're really ready for this game. 20 0 now for Mike Krause's Trojans. They are the state's number one ranked team. That promises to be a good one. The double A final is set as well as Molly Kramer with 17 kills, seven digs, and three blocks leads Southern Lehigh to a win over Notre Dame of Green Pond, and Abby Haas with 15 kills leading Bethlehem Catholic over Panther Valley. Both the championships tomorrow night at Liberty High School, and we will have them for you here on TV2 Sports. And now we talk about it consistently. Central Parkland get on the volleyball court. It's as good as a state final. Yeah, it's 